Good evening to those of you on the East Coast, and good afternoon to those of you in the West. Welcome to the first of three debates between President David Palmer and Senator John Keeler. We'll begin tonight with a two-minute opening statement, followed by the first question, which will go to President David Palmer, as decided by a coin flip backstage just moments ago. How are you feeling? Each participant will have two minutes to answer each Is that a medical question a or a personal one? Both. I'm fine. And it'll be conducted within the formats and rules agreed to by each member of the debate and by the two campaigns. Now we'll bring to the stage the candidates, ladies and gentlemen, Senator John Keeler. David, I'm sorry you have to deal with my ex-husband's lies. It's all right. We have the truth on our side. Ladies and gentlemen, President David Palmer. Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Keeler, good evening. The differences on the issues are clear, but I believe you don't elect a platform, you elect a man. And I am frankly troubled by some of the personal choices that this president has made and continues to make. We're all aware of the allegations and indictments surrounding the president's former wife. Most of us have operated <coughs> under the assumption that the president would not repeat his history of associating with persons of questionable moral character. However, my office has just learned that the woman with whom the president is currently involved, Dr. Ann Packard, is being accused of helping to fabricate the results of a clinical drug trial, a drug which later led to the deaths of three innocent people. This is outrageous. This debate is not a court of law, nor is it a tabloid paper. This is neither the time nor the place to launch a personal attack on a private citizen. Mr. President, the senator still has 30 more seconds, sir, please. This is exactly the right time, because I believe the choices your leaders make in their own lives reflect the choices that they will make on your behalf. And so the question remains, did the president know of these accusations and choose to ignore them? Or is he repeating past mistakes once again? Mr. President, your rebuttal. I can tell you with complete confidence that the senator's accusation is false and that I believe it is the senator's way of avoiding the issues at hand. Now, I came here tonight to discuss the real issues pressing our country. Oh, God. I assume that the senator was now, here. Now, do you get it? I do not believe this is something to be swept under the rug and forgotten. The president has spoken of his administration's support for the American worker, but I'm sure these words sound hollow to Armando Rodriguez of Galveston, Shawna Brown of Biloxi, to Kendall Taylor of Tampa, and to 100,000 of their fellow workers who have lost their jobs because of trade agreements signed by President David Palmer. It's my belief that opportunities have been missed. I believe in the long term, big picture. Wayne Palmer? Mr. Palmer, right in Chappelle Call. Mr. Chappelle, what's the latest on the bio threat? Kyle Singer, whom we believe to be the only carrier of the virus, has been taken into custody. Did you tell me there's no longer a risk of this virus being released? That's what I'm saying. Oh, thank God. Yes, we still have the Bauer situation to deal with. What's the status on that? Bauer has taken Salazar from the prison in a helicopter. We have him in our sights, but are unable to communicate with him. So what do you plan on doing? Salazar can't be allowed to leave the country. I'm afraid our only alternative is to shoot him down. Mr. Chappelle, my brother is not going to like that alternative. I understand. That's why I'm calling. I don't want to fire on Bauer without the president's permission. Yeah, well, the president is in the middle of a televised debate right now, so I'm sorry, but this is going to have to wait. It can't wait. In a few minutes, their helicopter is going to be over downtown L.A. and will be unable to shoot it down without risking significant civilian casualties. Let me get back to you, right? Soon, Mr. Palmer. Otherwise, Bauer will be able to land that chopper and disappear with Salazar into the population. Yeah. Economic experts are predicting that not only will those 100,000 jobs be regained, a similar number will be created. Senator Keeler. Who's the economic experts? The administrations? I, for one, cannot accept the blurred numbers 
being projected by the so-called economic experts of this administration. Those are the people largely David responsible Smith. for getting us into this mess. Vile threat's been eliminated. We have Kyle Sinner in custody. However, Jack Bauer doesn't know this. Now he's facilitated Salazar's escape. And they're in a chopper on the outskirts of the city. Now listen to me carefully, David. It may be necessary to shoot him down. I would like to hear the president's answer to that question. Are you prepared to authorize this? Mr. President, your response? Come on, David, what do you want to do? I think the entire American workforce would like to hear his answer. Mr. President? My fellow Americans, I have just been informed of an impending national emergency that requires my immediate attention. Therefore, I must withdraw from this debate. Excuse me. Now, what is this? This is, to say the least, uh, an unusual situation. No one here is quite sure what this emergency is. I need his room clear. We're waiting for specific when we get the Get these people out of here! Until they left the church to our local station.